Today we're going to look at a fairly short but really nice geometry problem. So let's say we've got a right triangle and it has side lengths A, B, C, where C is the hypotenuse. And then along the base of the triangle inside, we have inscribed N circles that are next to each other like this picture right here of radius R. And our goal is to find this radius R in terms of A, B, C, and N. So notice if we set N equal to 1, we will get back to the classic result, which gives us the radius of a circle inscribed inside of a right triangle. But like I said, here we have N total circles. So what's our idea here? Well, our idea is to cut this triangle up into some pieces. In fact, we'll cut it into three different triangles. But before we do that, let's label our vertices. So maybe I'll label this vertex right here A because it's opposite our side length little a. We'll label this one right here B and then we'll label this one right here C for similar reasons. And then next up I'm going to put a center of this rightmost circle. So let's do that. So there's the center of our rightmost circle. And then I'll take a radius, well obviously from this center to the edge of the circle, and I want to do that so I intersect this larger triangle ABC. But that means that I intersect this larger triangle ABC at a right angle. And that's because we have this circle is tangent to the triangle. So I've got a right angle there and I have a right angle there. And also I know that each of those lengths are R because well, it's a radius of a circle. And then I'm also going to label this point, but I'm not going to write it in there because it'll get too messy. Maybe we'll say O is equal to the center of the circle. And when I say the circle, I mean this like rightmost circle. And now I've got most of my parts in order to build my triangles. So the first triangle I'll look at will be triangle AOB. So let's maybe that get that in the picture. So we've got A to O, so that'll be that line segment right there. And then we need to go all the way to B. So this will be just a little bit on the side of the hypotenuse, given that we have this radius is quite small in comparison to the entire triangle. Okay, so there's my side length A, O, B. Then I'm going to create one more triangle, or actually two more triangles, but I can create these two more triangles with one more line segment, and that'll be the line segment from O to C. Okay, so let's put that in there as well. So we've got the line segment from O to C looks something like this. So like I said before, we split our larger triangle into three triangles. So triangle ABC is split into triangle A. O, B, right there, and then we have B, O, C, right here, and finally we have A, O, C, right here. But now since we've split our big triangle up into those three triangles, the area of the large triangle will be equal to the sum of the area of the small triangles. But I'm actually going to use twice the area here instead of the area just to clear the denominator. Okay, so let's write that equation up. So we have 2 times the area of triangle ABC will be equal to 2 times the area of triangle AOB plus 2 times the area of triangle AOC and finally plus another 2 times the area of our last triangle which is BOC. So triangle B, O, C. But now let's measure the area of these triangles. Some of these are pretty straightforward. So twice the area of A, B, C, well that's just going to be equal to A times B because the area is base times height over 2, but like I said before, we clear that denominator. So here we have this is equal to A times B. So that's pretty nice. Now let's look at area A, O, B. So here we have A, O, B. But let's notice that the base of this triangle is given by side length AB, which has length C, and the height is given by R. 
So that means here we have, this is equal to C times R. That's the area of triangle AOB. And then similarly, the triangle of AOC has a base of B and it has a height of R. So that's going to have area one half br but clearing the denominator we get b times r now this last one is a little bit trickier because we don't have any like right angles built into this immediately but we can add a right angle into this to make a height measurement fairly easily and that is by connecting this point o with line segment bc through the center of all of these circles since it goes through the center of all of these circles, it will intersect right over here, which is at a right angle. So let's continue this all the way through the center of all of these circles over here. Like I said, that's guaranteed to be a right angle because this circle is tangent to this line segment. But it's pretty easy to calculate the length of this purple line because it goes through n minus 1 total circles and then 1 half circle. So it takes the diameter of n minus 1 circles plus the radius of 1 circle. So in the end, this has length 2n minus 1 times r. So notice 2n times r would be going through the diameter of all of the circles, then we subtract off 1 radius here, giving this 2n minus 1 times r. But now finally, our triangle BOC will have a height of 2n minus 1 times r and a base of a. So that means we have twice the area is equal to 2n minus 1 times a times r. So that's looking good. And in fact, that gives us something which we can pretty easily solve for the radius. So we can factor an r out, and that'll leave us with 2n minus 1 times a plus b plus c which means that r dividing by this 2n minus 1 times a plus b plus c is equal to a times b over 2n minus 1 a plus b plus c. And that's the final value for our radius. And that's a good place to stop.